This is the Onity HT24 Mortis Lock. In this video, you will learn how to tear this lock completely down, and reassemble it. This will familiarize you with every component of this lock, and how to replace them. All of the screws in this lock set will require a Torx T10 screwdriver or drill. The first thing we will need to do, is turn the lock over, and remove the six mounting screws from lower, middle, and upper portions of the back plate. Now, we can remove the back plate from the lock, exposing all of the internal components. Next, remove the weather gasket, and remove the small mounting screw from the battery module. Now, carefully remove the battery module wiring harness from the circuit board. Then, pull the module away from the lock body. Don't use too much force on the module, or you can damage the portable programming jack on the bottom. Remove the small mounting screw from the circuit board. Pull the circuit board halfway out. And unclip the ribbon cable from the reader module. Place the circuit board in a safe location, away from the area you are working in. This will prevent any damage to the circuit board, as you continue disassembling the lock. In order to remove the card reader, we will need to remove the four large mounting screws from the back side of the card reader cover. Lift the top of the card reader cover up and then outward to remove it from the lock body. Next, remove the four small mounting screws from each corner of the card reader. Now, we can lift the card reader out of the lock body. Again, place this, and other electronic components, away from your work area, to prevent any damages. Remove the clutch cover gasket, and remove the two small mounting screws, from the shaft cover plate. Once the shaft cover plate is removed, we can remove the lever shaft. You will notice that the lever shaft has a notch in the outer ring. When the keycard is inserted into the card reader, the reader engages a small magnetic rocker which applies tension the clutch release spring. This allows the clutch release to move downward into the notch of the lever shaft. When the lever is turned, the clutch engages the mortise, and the door can be opened. Remove the four large screws from the clutch cover plate. Be sure to hold the plate steady, to prevent the spring assembly from flying out. Here, you can see how the clutch tension plate rotates back and forth with the lever shaft. The lock body has two stops built into it, to prevent turning the lever too far. As the lever is turned, the clutch tension plate engages the handle return. The handle return moves downward onto the spring assembly. When the lever is released, it returns to its original position. We can begin putting the lock back together, by placing the handle return evenly over the top of the spring assembly, and over the lever stops. Now, install the large mounting screws back into the clutch cover plate. Next, we need to install the clutch pin and clutch release parts. The tiny clutch pin spring goes in first, followed by the clutch pin, the clutch release, and finally, the clutch release spring. Place the lever shaft into position, lay the shaft cover plate over the base, and install the two tiny mounting screws. Press the clutch cover gasket firmly into place. Turn the lock over, place the electronic card reader onto the lock body, and install the four small mounting screws. Be sure to place the ground wire underneath the bottom right screw. Place the card reader cover inward, over the lever shaft, and then upwards to lock it into place. Turn the lock back over. Then install the four large mounting screws onto the card reader cover. Next, thread the clutch release spring into the bottom notch of the magnetic rocker and install the small mounting screw. Now, clip the card reader ribbon cable into the control module. Place the battery module onto the lock body being careful not to damage the portable programming jack. 
Attach the wiring harness to the control module, and route the wiring. Then, install the small mounting screw. Be sure the wiring is tucked underneath the wiring clips to prevent shorting out the battery module. Place the back plate onto the lock body, and install the six small mounting screws. Install the lever, program the lock, and your HT24 is now ready to be installed. We hope you have enjoyed this video. Please take a look at our other videos, regarding door lock repairs and installations. For more information about Onity locks, visit www.onity.com.